Alright, this video is about how to draw things on your calculator. First off, you need a calculator. It has to be a graphing calculator, TI-83 or higher. Um, this is the graph. To start off, you need to turn off the axes, which you would do by going to second zoom, which is formatting. It would go down here to axes off, hit enter, and when you hit the graph, they're gone. Now, to actually draw things, you have to click second and then program, which is right here in the middle, and there's this big list of things you can do that I never use. Down at the bottom is pen, it's at the very bottom, or you just click up. Uh, you hit enter, and now you have a little cursor thing. To start drawing, you hit enter. Just hit enter. Then you move your cursor to move to draw things. I don't know. To have the pen come up. So you can just draw whatever you want. Hopefully, something more exciting than that. Um, if you want to pick up your cursor and start drawing somewhere else, hit enter again. That discontinues the drawing. Hit enter to start again, and you can draw again. If you mess up, if you accidentally put a dot where you don't want it to, you go second program again, same menu. You move over one to the thing that says points, go down to point off hit enter and then you move your little cursor over the place where you want to erase and each time you hit enter it erases that dot that it's directly over so it would have erased it would have erased those dots right there and you can erase as much as you want but it's not very efficient it's only if you make little mistakes if you make a big mistake and you want to completely start over, you go to second program again, and you just click clear draw, and that will clear everything that you've done so far. Now you have a blank graph. Uh, let me just draw something quick. A line. Uh, and now, if you want to save this, because that is such a beautiful picture, you would go to second draw, and move over to STO for store, I think. I don't know, it stands for something. Click store pick, and then you give it a number, so one. You can only use one through nine. You can't do like 20 or anything. You only get nine pictures. So, let's say I want to save this as 1, now that's stored under picture 1, and say that I clear this out because I need to graph something for math, doing actual math, what a concept. Then you would, to get it back, you would go to second program, over to the store pick thing, go down to recall pick, and then recall pick 1, or whatever one you saved it under enter and brings the picture back up and that is all that you need to know about drawing